first half from probably the, the best player of the night. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, Shepard's uh, especially before the conditions get bad, he just took the ball in the inside right position there. And all night he took the ball in those positions, but from this angle here, he goes by two, but Ferdinand doesn't quite get to him, and it's a kind of half hearted effort there. And you really want him to, you can't complain to the goalkeeper, but done no, nothing wonderful wrong. Shot, isn't it? Great strike, great play, and uh, when he gets good service up there, he looks like a very good player, which he is. Has he got a point there? I don't well, know. For, for part of the game anyway, because especially at the beginning of the second half here, they had a, a host of chances, and it could have been four or five. Every time you, you broke, they thought they were going to, they were going to have a striking goal. And remember, they've got the wind behind them here, so when it goes out to the edge of the box, you know they can really lever it from anywhere, and they've got a chance. Uh, but these were were fortunate throughout the night that none of these managed to get by the goalkeeper. But when I mean, you get Ferdinand's on the ball here, and he plays it. Another terrible ball. I mean, it sounds as if I'm getting on to my bit, but that's a bad well, you ball. Are. Uh, yeah, it's a bad, it's a bad place to play balls into. Number one centre half. Don't play it to there in case unless you're absolutely sure. But uh, they kept on breaking forward, and uh, they had no control of the midfield for about 10 or 15, maybe even 20 minutes. And uh, so another good chance. Quite an easy save in the end. But, but Martin had a good night actually, didn't he? He certainly did. But uh, that was a turning again, and uh, all night he was turning in that little area and they had no answer for him there. Okay, we've mentioned Chappies are quite a lot of, uh, already, but uh, an email from Morris Young. I recall a few years ago Chappies are playing Scotland for the Swiss national side. He was devastating, give him any room at all anywhere in the box. You are dead and buried. He's gone it. Uh, don't know once before he'll do it again unless you mark him as tightly as humanly possible. It's sort of a point you were making, Pat. You saw that, well, you were sitting on the bench, weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was, on the, position uh, yes, I, wasn't, I was on the bench until the last five minutes and Chappies was going that day. But he does twist and turn incredibly well here, and uh, if you don't get close to him, he'll shoot. If you get too close, he'll roll you, and it's very, very difficult to know what to, to do with a player of that quality. But Nunes was also very impressive, and that's a spectacular skill. I mean, the turn is wonderful, but the ball ends a cracking ball as well. And uh, to do it under the conditions tonight, it was a bit sticky, but it's, it's, it's lovely, a fantastic it? it's quality. You could watch that all night. And uh, as the game was going on, both of them were looking great players. But it just got a little bit too heavy for them in the end, and I think then their per the Leeds United power actually got on top. And no doubt about what the turning point was, and, and that was the penalty. W was it a penalty? Uh, well, again, Les has got to the wrong side here, and he's not got back quick enough. And uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Gary Bloom apparently phoned in, <laughs> and uh, he says he thinks it may have been a handball just about here. And uh, can't really see. Can't, can't really see. Could have been. But that's the only argument you can see that it's not sending off. It's not a deliberate handball. Didn't hit that well. He didn't, and uh, it's a shame for Nunes really because he played really well. Keeper's done really well there, but uh, in a night like this, I've, I've found myself taking very poor penalties in the evenings like this. <laughs> we remember Mem that. Well. Memorably against Manchester City, for anyone old enough. But uh, I feel sorry for Nick because he was a great game. As, as Smith and Ferdinand were saying after the game, though, that Leeds really did show character then, didn't they? Stuck at it, which we haven't seen that sort of spirit from them abroad before this season. Yeah, the old cliche, but they got out of jail. And when you when you do feel that you've got out of jail, then you get the opportunity to break forward. And uh, they took the opportunities to break forward whenever they could. And uh, as the game wore on, more and more chances came their way. And uh, they were getting the ball in the 18-yard line. Um, that's a bit of a rough field there, but there is nothing you can do at that. And, in, uh, in England there's some fantastic free kick takers just now and I don't necessarily think it'll be a better free kick this season there is no goalkeeper in the world that's going to get that and uh, he's a young lad, he's only 19 but I think the top keeper in the world wouldn't have and they kept that. creating chances and eventually ended up with, with Smith's goal yeah and uh, all, all night he was uh, causing all sorts of problems and hassles for them and for the referee it has to be said it reminds me a wee bit of David Speedy another boy from about 30 minutes along the road from him um, fighting and annoying and bothering them all night long but they kept on creating little bits of chances but as the game wore on they just seemed stronger and more powerful and maybe these were kind of British conditions that we were in and when it finally did fall to him uh, he took his chance very very well uh, there was a suggestion here of offside when it came to him but uh, as you'll notice there it's hit off the defender's foot last so he's not offside <laughs>